How's it going everyone? I am Jeremy Alexander and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be making a player health bar. To do this let's first make our player. I'm going to make a new sprite here. I'm going to make it 16 by 16 and we're just going to color it in. Uh, and let's call this object player. And let's give this an instance variable of player health. Now we're going to come back to this number, but this can be anything. This could be 5, this could be 10, this could also be 100. So let's leave this at 100 for right now. Let's double click and make a new sprite and let's make a health bar. Now this is up to you. Depending on what kind of game you want to make, the size of this is up to you. I'm going to make this 16 by 4 because I think this looks like a good health bar size. Let's make it red because red usually indicates health. And this kind of health bar, the style that we're making here, is going to be a draining health bar. It's going to drain from the right all the way down to the left, like you pretty much in every single typical video game. Uh, you can actually have it do whatever you want. You can make a different kind of heart system if you would like. Uh, but this is for a draining health bar specifically. So now that I have this, it is 16 by 4. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie the player health uh, variable. I'm going to tie that to the width of this object. So let's do that first. Let's actually go to the event sheet. Let's say system every tick. And we want to do it every tick because we want the health bar to actually react every frame because you don't you never know if the player is going to lose health or not. Let's change the object's name to object's player health. And let's grab object player health. Let's type in set width and let's let's set it to object player dot player health and hit okay so there we go that is the logic for our player health system that's the logic for our health bar so now if i hit play though and you know what okay cool you're going to see that this is a hundred percent so this is at a hundred pixels we this is fine we could have it and therefore you could have a hundred health points for your player your player can walk around and that that is totally fine let's actually drain this but even though that's totally fine, that's not the size that we set it as. If we want to set it to the size that it is right now, uh, we would actually put it to 16. So let's go to our player here. Let's change this to 16. And actually, I have a better idea for what we can do with the rest of this. So what I want to do, I want to do two things. I want to make a button. Let's double click and let's add a button. Now, we don't have to actually use a form button, but I think it might be fun. So let's put a button here and we'll call it drain for drain health. Let's go to our event sheet, and what we want to do here is on button clicked, we want to subtract, not from the health bar, but from the instance variable player health. And let's subtract 1. Since we only have 16 health, let's subtract 1. Now, when it comes to doing enemies and stuff like that, you might want to have uh, it at 100. You might want to do percentages. You might want to actually have every single enemy do different different amount different amount of damage. You know, one enemy might do 2, one enemy might do 10, one enemy might enemy might do one okay so what we're going to do and this should actually work now it'll drain let's actually set it to add event if the player's health is less than or equal to so if it goes below zero then let's sit uh, system restart layout okay so now if I hit play and we drain it all the way down from 16 we get to zero and then it restarts our layout. Cool. So let's just take it one step further. Let me show you how we can actually make this move around and follow our player. Let's add the behavior of, you know what, let's add, let's do a platformer. I always go for platformers, they're my favorite. So let's grab our tiled background here and let's just put it out like that. Let's add the solid behavior to it and let's add the platform behavior to this. Okay, cool. So let's hit play and let's see if this is working now. Cool. So <laughs> let's fix our, our platformer controls. Let's put this down to 150. Let's put our jump strength down to 450. Uh, and that should be good. Let's also add the scroll too, just to make this a little bit more whole. And I can even make this just a little bit bigger. Cool. So now that we have this, we should actually have something relatively decent. We have our drain. I see that the button's messing up there. I don't know why that button's messing up. We'll just put it as that. There we go. Okay, so everything's still working fine. We don't have an enemy, but everything's working. Player health still works. When we get down to zero, we're drained, and it restarts our layout. So to make the 
enemy health or to make the player health bar scroll with us in the every tick what we need to do is we need to set the player health position to object player dot x and object player dot y and hit okay now what this is going to do is set it right into the middle of the player and that is not going to work for our health we want this to be on top so to do that let's just let's subtract 10 from our y position because to go up on the y axis you need to subtract and let's actually let's subtract five from the x axis and let's see if that centers it a little bit more so maybe we need to subtract a little bit more subtract 15 and hit play there we go and let's move it over just a little bit more so maybe we'll go down to three instead and hmm maybe it's not three maybe it is mm, let's go eight kind of when it gets to this point it gets to the experimenting point where uh you're just kind of messing around so that looks good you can mess around to make that even more perfect but now you'll see that every single tick it'll follow the player and now imagine there was an enemy here that was on contact with us it was draining and then it drains our health so there we go that's how you do a very basic player health system. I hope that this kind of gave you a better idea. It's very simple, and this is only three lines of code, really. I mean, four, if you think about it. But really, this is pretty simple. So I hope that you've learned a lot from this tutorial. I hope this tutorial helped. If you have ideas for other tutorials, please let me know in the comments. And if you did like this video, leave a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.